Okay, so I got uh, three of them caught with halters just by walking up to them. I can pet the little scooter, John Mule, but he won't let me put the halter on. He pulls away. I don't want him to get in the habit of thinking he can do that and get away with it, so I'm not going to mess with it. But I can pet his neck, and he comes to me. Uh, but when I try to pick up the halter, you know, he just walks away. Nothing, nothing big, but I just don't want to get habit. So we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> rope the other ones. Uh, the gray mule, he's he uh, he's just walking around hiding underneath the other ones. Um, I don't want to pressure him so much. He runs underneath the three that are already tied up. I don't know if you guys can see them over there. But uh, anyway, the buck's getting one. He's just not halter broke or nothing, so I knew I was going to have to rope him. But anyway, I don't know how much of this you'll catch. I don't have any anybody helping me out here at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and rope these other three up and get halters on there. But maybe you guys will catch something, maybe not. The reason I'm doing this, and I'm not I, one, I don't want to get them running around and acting crazy. But two, I just don't want them to get in the habit of thinking that they can keep getting away with me. If they have successful, if I try to touch them, put a halter on, they pull away, they get success. You know, they don't really understand roping, so they don't understand that extension. So when you can just reach out and pluck them from wherever they're at, um, that gives them some respect for you and, and that kind of deal. And the ones that are tied up. Um, they learn that they're not involved in it. They don't start learning that just because the other ones are running, they're not supposed to run. So anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. This one should be real easy to rope because he just wants to stand right here. But it's gonna probably pull back just a little bit. And um, anyway, so we'll just get that one first. Thank <laughs> you. 
that scooter down. I'll start another one for the next one so the video won't go too long. But anyway, so he learned that he can't be too resistive of the rope. But the most important lesson he just learned was that if he'll just calm down and be still, I will get him undone and uh, I'll solve this problem for him. And then his goal is not to get away from me and fight me, but to relax when he gets in a bad situation and, and uh, I'll get him out of it. So that's the first thing that he learned right there.